Hello Capricorns. I am Jade. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. This is going to be a January 2020 reading. Just a quick one. Looking at a quick storyline. See what's happening. For uh, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. I've been pulling from a couple oracle decks. This uh, energy oracle. The gothic oracle. What else? This uh, divine animals. And uh, this Oracle of Visions. Okay, so I pulled from all those. And then also one from the Good Tarot for your overall energy for the month. So from the Energy Oracle, we got card number one, the Sun. This is like a really positive card. This is healing. This is things coming to light. Just really, really good positive energy. Okay. So from the Gothic Tarot... Card number 15 came out. This is Autumn Virtuoso. Um, it's releasing ties, and it's also about creativity um, and achievements. Um, it's about creativity being an important part of our lives. And the, you know, the ivy and the clinging, it's, uh, it represents clinging to old habits which no longer serve you, time to let go of negative energy. Um, you're a creative soul, and whatever your skills or desires may be, you need to follow your heart and seek what makes you happy. So, yeah, this is a interesting card there. All right. Then, from the Divine Animals Oracle, the leadership. This is card number 10. This is the elephant. Um... Uh, some of the messages here saying, uh, be the leader in your own life. You know, taking the lead, be the example, uh, do not lead by force, but instead by inspiration. But also, it's, uh, Lord Ganesha. And it would be, uh, it's Lord Ganesha who made sure no obstacles would be placed in the way of righteous actions. But it is also he who places obstacles to encourage people to take different directions. Okay. So, that came out. And then, from this Oracle of Visions, this is really interesting. This card's 16. It's really beautiful. It's about um, distance and isolation, giving uh, a different perspective on things. Alright. So, from the Good Tarot, Messenger of Earth. Um, this is really uh, earthy energy. I feel like this is really, uh, like, definitely for you guys. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I feel like it's definitely things happening, like, in the 3D. Let's see here. So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot. I'm going to get six cards for the storyline and then three for advice. See what's happening here. All right. Council members, ancestors, please show me what I need to see and make it clear. For Capricorns, please, for January 2020. For the highest good. Show me what I need to see. Whoa. Okay, the hanged man just literally flipped out here. I'm going to take that. Whoa. Wow. Okay. And three of cups and temperance. All right, so the Hanged Man is watery energy. This uh, speaks about things uh, not moving, staying still, um, looking at things from all angles, all perspectives. Um, the Three of Cups, uh, Three Little Birds. It, it could be a uh, celebration, having a good time. Um, it could be excessive consumption of alcohol. could even be a third-party situation, depending depending. Temperance here, um, this is the card of Sagittarius. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you might have Sag Sagittarius in your chart, or someone may have it. Um, also, could have water energy, Pisces. Um, the, the Hanged Man could be any watery energy, really. Okay, so let's get three more. Wow. Nine of Swords just flew out. So, that's 
the Nightmare card, Eight of Pentacles. So you might be looking at your dreams, your nightmares, working on like you're working, you know, but there's this swords, this nine of swords energy, so this is like nightmares and that uh, dramatic card, it also is a little bit dramatic. Temperance here with the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is uh, sadness, regret, loss, missed opportunity. Um, three cards for, wow, okay. Advice, the Hermit. Okay, so the Hermit talks about going within, shining light in the shadows. Wow, Ten of Swords. Okay. more for advice. All right, one more for advice. Oh, that was a clump. I can already feel it. I'm not taking. I'm not even looking. Okay. Wow, the magician. Okay. Hmm. You know, all four of these are major arcana squaring your uh, reading here, I just noticed. <clears throat> All right, so your advice, you're, you're asked to um, go, go within, okay? Um, take a look at the darkness, the shadows, perhaps this, this Ten of Swords. Um, the Magician speaks about having all the tools you need um, to manifest. But you are having to, you know, you're, there, you are having to temper yourself here. Um, hmm, interesting. I'm going to clarify now with this uh, tarot of the magical forest. It's got the cute little woodland creatures on it. Okay, I'm just here with guides, guardians, ancestors. Remember, show me what I need to see. Make it clear, please, for Capricorn. Let's clarify this storyline for them a little bit more. Let's see. <clears throat> Show me more about the hanged man. Okay, so this is five of wands is conflict, feeling very conflicted. Um, what about this three of cups? Wow. That just fell out. The Fool, so fresh start, new opportunity, leap of faith. This is Temperance. Okay, two, I'll take them. Wow, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay. So... In the hanged man, um, you're conflicted and not moving, not moving, no movement, you know, conflicted in, in thoughts, ideas, your passions with the wands here. With the three of cups um, and this fool, I feel like this is uh, wanting to celebrate a new beginning, a fresh start, um, wanting to. And then with the temperance here, this nine of wands, ten of cups, so, uh, this wounded warrior coming up here with the Ten of Cups, um, you might be tempering yourself, something may have happened, um, the wounded warrior maybe is finding their Ten of Cups, maybe is looking for their Ten of Cups, uh, maybe had lost their Ten of Cups, I'm not, you know, for the, with the way it's coming out here, I mean, it does look like a new beginning, it does look good. I'm just wondering about all, you know, this and this and this. 
That's why I'm a little wary. All right, show me more about this Nine of Swords. Three of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in, or someone is waiting for their ships to come in here. Um, it's causing you nightmares. Yeah, two of wands. Two to the three here. Waiting, waiting. <clears throat> What's this eight of pentacles? Whoa. Okay. Ace of pentacles, but I do want to note this queen of cups flipped completely re upright, reverse. So queen of cups reverse is not good. Um... That's probably this. Why this? Show me more about the Five of Cups. Yeah. Somebody got left out in the cold here. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. There's sadness, regret. Um, let's see. So for the advice. But again, remember over here, this talks about letting go of old ways. Ganesha, the, with the obstacles, distance, and perspective. Um, let's see here. Show me more about this hermit for the advice. Yeah. This is the lovers. So you're being asked to look at a connection. Ooh, six of cups. Possibly with someone from your past. Or someone could be looking at you this way. Capricorn. Um, what is this Ten of Swords? What? Okay, wow. Ace of Wands. Okay, it seems like the closing out of an old cycle and the starting of a new. You know, the Ten of Swords, it's painful, but it's over. And that means an opportunity for a fresh new start and passion. What's this Magician? Show me more about the Magician. Hmm. Yeah, you might not be waiting anymore. Something is not your wish fulfillment. Unless these are supposed to be upright. Hmm. It's interesting because they're completely upside down. So. Whatever you're trying to manifest here, um, reverse specifically, you could be um, running a risk of like making a bad decision, um, or um, yeah, maybe depression. Self-indulgence. Um, with the Queen of Cups reversed, uh, this person might be vain, living in the fantasy land, conceited, selfish. So, <clears throat> for your advice, you're asked to, you know, to take a look at these things. Um... And um, be careful what you're what you're looking to create. Take a good look at things. Um, all right, because yeah, a little bit of there might be obstacles uh, put in your path on purpose, and a little bit of distance could give you some different perspective. All right. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn, for January 2020. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. It means the world to me. And uh, I hope you guys have a, have a good new year. All right. Bye.